Yeah. Hey, Raul Mendoza here. Welcome to another episode of Level Up with Lair One. Today I want to talk about leadership and giving and receiving feedback. I came across this quote from Robert Chen who posted it on his feed today. It goes something like this. Feedback isn't just about the quality of the advice or the accuracy of the assessments. It's about the quality of the relationship, our willingness to show that you don't have it all figured out, and to bring your whole self, flaws, uncertainties, and all into the relationship. Also, I've had a leader come to me at another point in my career and share with me that feedback is a gift. I've just had these thoughts kind of brewing in me today that I just wanted to share a couple reflections on with you regarding the issue of feedback. One, feedback is invaluable. It's powerful information that can propel us forward and help us push through barriers and challenges and actually make adjustments in in such a way that we're able to grow and move ahead. Feedback is powerful information. It's so invaluable and helpful to us in moving forward. The other thing that I realized about feedback, and it's kind of shared in these thoughts that I just provided to you is feedback is also indicative of where a relationship is in terms of the relationship between the person that's receiving the feedback and the person that's giving the feedback. Actually, I had a situation today where a leader provided some feedback to me and it was done in the spirit of grace and humility. And so it was received that way by me. A strong leader has to have the ability to give and receive feedback with grace and humility. It's just absolutely important. A couple of things that I realized in this leader giving me feedback that I just, just a couple of observations that I wanted to share with you. One, the importance of psychological safety. I felt psychologically safe with this leader. So I felt like I could receive this information and do something with it because I knew that this leader had his best in mind for me in providing this feedback. Second, because I felt safe, I felt empowered. And because I was already in a place of feeling empowered, I just want to get better. I want to improve. So I was in a position to receive this feedback. And actually, rather than discourage me, it encouraged me. Rather than push me three steps back, it actually propelled me five steps forward. And that's what feedback does within the context of a healthy relationship. Anyway, those are just a few thoughts. I'd love to get your feedback on this topic. You know, what other conditions need to exist in order for feedback that is exchanged to have a positive impact? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Signing out.